Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Banjo, you got it. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't work. Come on. There you go. Come hey. on, Carlos. Felicia. Felicia. Hey. Hey. hey, get up. We're done. <laughs> no! Is that breath? That's singeing my nostrils, bro. Oh, Wait, when can he fly? Shoo! We are moving the animals, boys. Today is the day. We are getting everything taken care of. We already got barn number one loaded up. Uh, we just pulled in and they already got her situated. We got one barn there, we got the other barn there, and then we have the chicken coop over there as well. So he's already got one on and he's gonna winch that trailer all the way forward. We had to build an extra skid for it. We're starting off out the gate, getting stuff done this morning. So he's gonna pull that on. Oh, I don't think he can get both. Ooh, we were planning on putting that barn and the chicken coop on one load. And I don't think it's gonna... You, you think that fit, could fit the chicken coop or no? I think so, yeah. You really? Oh, really? Oh, big long load, he said. All right. So he thinks, I guess maybe he has a little bit of room to go here. But yeah, that's right. We're moving the animals finally. Oh, look at this. This is the doohickey you've been looking for here, buddy. Holy smoke, she's going to be. We'll be giving her a dangle, but like I said, bar number one, we got put up right here. We're going to take her to the new place. The fence got built. We were planning on building the fence ourselves. And I'll be 100% honest with you, I miscalculated how long it would take to move all the stuff from the house and the shop and how busy I would be. So I finally, I waved the white flag and I called the guys who built the fence here at this house and I begged them to go build it for us really, really fast and they pulled through. So I wanna give them a huge shout out. Fajin is their name, that's their Fajin fencing. They've been a huge help. So they got the fence completely built. So when we move these animals, they'll have a place to go. So like I said, one barn is on. He can't fit that barn right there in this load, but what he can fit is the chicken coop. So we got all the chickens inside the actual coop itself and we're gonna transport them in the coop. So what I'm really hoping is that this this door right here, we probably should put a board on it so it doesn't open, but inside this chicken coop, we got all the chickens. You guys are ready to go on a little road trip? Yeah, it's dark in here, none of the lights are on because we've been pulling all the power out, but you ready for the road trip, ladies and gents? So we're gonna transport them in here. So if it crashes, there will be chickens on the loose. The plan would be to get the chickens moved and the one barn moved in the first load, and then the guy's not terribly positive. He can move the other barn because it does have some damage. And then there's the little, remember Ralph's hut, the little brown one, um, we need to move as well. So I don't know if we'll get those two structures moved today or that might have to be a little later next week. The owners who are taking over this property said it's no problem if we have to come and grab another barn a little bit later on. As long as everything's out of the house and shop, they don't care. So we may have to, have to come back, but I said priority. We need at least one barn for some of the animals in case, you know, big freaking snowstorm hits or something. I'll be honest, most animals don't even like the barns anyways because they're, you know, they're animals. They don't need them. And then these guys will be good as well. So we're gonna try to set the coop in place today and get that situated. Like I said, the fence is done and uh, they're hanging the gates literally as we speak right now. So we should be we should be good to go. He's getting that on. He, he thinks he can load that up with it. It's gonna be dangling off the edge of that. I mean, that's like half of it's gonna be giving her a lean, I feel like, no? You don't think so? No, I think so. You, you do think so. This thing is long. It's, it's a, a big, it's a 12, I think. Well, is it 12 by, it might be a 12 by 16. I'll be 100% honest with you, I have no idea. And then, once we move all the barns, we're gonna come back tomorrow for big boy Ralphie. And you, we're taking you, Carol and Ralph. You guys ready to go in the new house? We got a new barn, fresh pasture, hella grass. We are gonna take them to the vet though. Carol needs her hooves trimmed, the goats need their hooves trimmed. You see, Rick is fighting faint and go right now. Now he just walked away. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take him straight to the vet. We got to get him vaccinated. Hey, 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 can I help you? We got to get him vaxxed and hooves trimmed, health papers, all that good stuff like that. Once everything gets cleared, then we're going to haul them up to the new house and everything will be ready. To hey, I'm trying to talk. Why is he doing this? I don't know why he's doing What are you eating? What are you, what are you munching on, buddy? Anyways, that's the plan. We got bar number one loaded. We're going to load the chicken coop head out, get them unloaded. And like I said, we're gonna attempt to get these other two barns. We also have to get the hay feeder at some point and then all the animals. We got the next two days, it's gonna be chaos. Trying to get all these suckers moved. And this guy, I may just leave you here. You're the housewarming gift that nobody asked for. Stay tuned. All right, how, how can we help? Stay out of the way? Um, you wanna lock it or you don't think that door will come open? I don't have a it's key, pretty so. It'll be fine. Okay. They I like this little guy he's got. <laughs> Do what? I just know how they moved it in here. I know. Yeah, they exactly like that and dropped it. They didn't need one of these little things. They don't catch on the Two. Are they under it? They were under it. That is a cool I like that thing. We need one of these. I didn't bad. know they made that. 
Oh, Jiggin was under there. Rip. Look at this sucker. See that? Should we just leave these? Those are free range now or no? <laughs> no, we gotta get them. Go okay. grab them. You got it. Welcome to the Thunderdome! I got one. Two? Alright. Quit it! Try to give him a pitch. He's flying! Oh my god! Gotcha! <laughs> That was hilarious. Let's go! The old ambush. <laughs> he didn't see you coming. That's what I thought, buddy. Yeah. Moving day. Oh, what's he got going here? He's got a two by four. This ain't his first row. Yeah. No. He just took a two by four and left that whole freaking coop. You good with that? Yep. Okay. He, if he's confident, I'm confident. All right, boys. Coop is loaded. Got to go to the new house. And now we got to try to get him down into the pen, which you guys haven't seen the pen updated. It's slippery. It's wet. It snowed eight inches three days ago, believe it or not, even though it's 60 degrees out today. Actually, it's supposed to be 70. So what he'll probably end up doing is he'll probably drop them. We'll probably have to, we probably should stop and get some eye, big eye bolts because we'll probably have to skid loader that sucker down. I mean, I don't think he's going to be able to back down it. I don't think his old donkey will do her. Oh, I guess he could drag her with a donk. He could. We'll see what that, donk, we'll see what that donk's made out of. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the new house. Shoo, we made it. Hopefully them chickens are alive. I didn't see any on the highway. I was following them. So I think, well, I think we'll be all <laughs> the right. door's still closed. I think I picked out a good spot for this, so there is a, there's a pile. I might just get in the mini, Yeah. but there's a pile of uh, stuff in the way, but it's actually pretty flat. Oh, okay. We're, we're getting this figured out. Uh, fence guys are here. They just got done with the enclosure. The little one, the small one, the holding pen. So we should be able to drag the barn in there. And then the coop, I wanted really close to the big animals, but I didn't want to have to go in the big animal pen to go to the coop. So we're gonna put it right next to it and hopefully build some type of little tunnel system that will allow the chickens to come out, go into the pasture, and then scratch around and then without the big animals coming back, so. That was a big load. I'm glad I hired this guy. Could you imagine us doing this? Yeah, no. Oh, chickens would be all down the interstate. It'd be unreal. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? What do you think? You got more stuff coming in. Hey, hey, there's more. Is there more? Well, not today, probably. We got to bring two Wait, more barns. Did, did that come from your property? Did you just buy that? No, I came from the property. You the chickens are in there. Come look. No, they're, they're seriously in there? The chickens? Look, look at them laying all. eggs back there. Oh my. They just had a road trip. They don't know what county they're in now. Yeah. It smells like a chicken coop, <laughs> don't it? Does. Look at a big turkey. Oh, yeah. We, she's laying so, eggs in the corner. Yeah, she's, she's laying in the corner right now. You want some fresh what? eggs? Yeah, that's so funny. What do you got in that shed? You got like a camel no, in there? Nothing's in there. That's bacon. Oh, that's bacon? Yeah, that's bacon. So, these, this has to get down there. Yep. He's getting his little donkey. Shut he, it. He's, look at, he's got that. Wow. That's what this guy does. It's just oh, moving so these he, buildings. So he's gonna take it down there. Yeah. Get it, will he go through the, the mud? I don't know. Look at that. We'll find out. Well, I thought about putting tires under it. Okay. On the backside. Whatever you want to do. But you're the chief. Yeah, I think I better if I'm gonna try it. Otherwise, I'll probably spin out. Okay. You let me know if you need anything from me. Otherwise, I'll just be here. <laughs> About as useless as a two dollar bill, right? Yeah, Three dollar bill right now. I can't do much right now. I got my mini X bear warmed up. Not sure why. She's ready. <laughs> She's not doing much. Case it's a fan. I'll, I'll, I'll get over there.
This is about to be the best chicken setup ever, and I came up with it last night at midnight. All right, in my head, I'm like, well, all right, well, tomorrow we're putting the coop. By the way, here's the fence. You guys hadn't seen it yet. This is the holding pen enclosure the mini's in, so, I mean, it's, I, I hired somebody, because, I mean, there's no, like, that's panel. That's too. panel. I mean, these dudes are, they know how to build a fence. Plus, this is the Korea what? Korea soap. Korea soap. Uh, apparently, it can give you They'll cancer, so you don't want to touch it. But they're supposed to last forever. So we're putting the coop here. I'll probably jot it back a touch. It's too slippery right now. We don't want it to run into this fence. But here's the idea. We pull it back a little bit further, okay? Then, you, this is their door. Give them a little run to run into the pasture, which is, remember, the whole reason why we got 272 chickens was the damn flies. So they got to eat all the little larvae. I think we should move their door to this side. We could, just, we, go we could just do that. The other thing we're going to try to do over here, up here where we started some brush pile fires, that's going to be the petting zoo in that corner. So, right, here's my thought, is basically put a fence around here. That's going to be fenced in. The chickens can go to big animal pasture. They can go to the petting zoo. And look over here. They've got our whole run. Like, that can all be theirs. That way, this is all chicken area for them. So, it'll be 10 times better than what they have now. Because right now, they're in an electric fence about yay big. And they just destroy it. This should be a pretty good spot. One downside. Hear me out. You ready? This is Raccoon Alley. Okay. Well, actually, that, well, no, they'll crawl right through that. But, uh, anyways, there's a creek here. That's Brad's house, by the way. So he'll get to come down and pet Ralph when he wants to. But this creek is typically raccoons and other critters, predators for that matter, follow creeks. So they could follow this creek, whew, straight shot. Which isn't much, it's not much different than what we had before. They, the raccoons around here though, they don't know who they're messing with, all right? We are gonna be trapping fools for the first at least year, if not longer, to protect these guys. We drug them all the way up here, paid to have the chick coop moved. We gotta secure our egg harvest because egg prices are too high. So once we get them established, we will be putting an electric fence around it. But more importantly, we are going to have to be trapping the heck out of this little ditch creek right here. Because it's, it's going to be war. As it always is, but it's going to be war. It's coming. If you push down and lift it, you pull the sheet come out. There you go. Close. There it is. That'll do it. Beauty. What do you think those chickens think? Man? They're freaking out right now. <laughs> I also will give you props. I've never seen someone park a, ch a chicken coop one inch from this pose. <laughs> I mean, I can't even, look, I can't even fit two fingers. You said as close as you could get it. You took that literally. Hell, if you're smart, you put a door on each side. Mm -hmm. Kick them this way and kick them that way. Take that door out. So we're saying move that door, put it right here, and just literally cut a hole. It's like real small, we can't let the goats in, so it's gotta be pretty small. Put it right there so when they cut out, they don't go out we there. They, run their little they can't go by Raccoon Alley, okay? They just go run right into here, and that'll basically force them to go scratch this, which is what we want. Because when the flies get really bad, we need the chickens pecking out the larva in the manure. I'll give you guys a quick tour. So it's about the same size as the last one. It's set up more like a triangle, though. To me, it looks smaller, but I don't think it really is. I think it's actually a little bit bigger. I think it's because that's a long jump. Here we have another gate. Yeah, we, we went heavy with the gates. We got one, two, three, four five gates which is excessive lots of gates here's the thing this gate what we're going to try to do is make the old solo hay feeder challenge strat where we build an enclosure with multiple a multiple gate system where you open it you can drive in the animals can't get out because all the other gates are closed you drop the bale of hay you get out and you shut it then you walk in and open the gates for the animals that way, if there's just one person like myself or a farmhand, Jake, anybody, they don't got to worry about big, about big Boy Ralph going. Here's the thing. We're not in the city, but we're closer. Ralph gets on the loose, they're definitely going to evict me from this county. So we can't have that happen. So anyways, chick coops down. They're building fence. They're starting on the pasture now. So all that grass down there is going to be part of this. And those gates right there, you've got one gate on the right, which will let them into pasture one. One gate on the left, which will be pasture two. So this will just be their holding pen, basically, where we feed them grain and water and all that good stuff. So, all right, we got chin coop down. See if we can get the barn inside. Stay tuned.
That thing's worth its weight in gold. It is. I thought we that were is crazy. The skid the skid, the yeah, the skid sucks. So this is bar number one. I'll probably, I could slip bar number two. I'll, I kind of like it higher. That way it's tucked back a little bit and that gives them a bunch of space right here. Good wind block behind them. And it should be good wind because that's that's north, facing basically the same way where that's facing south. And like I said, their hay feeder theory is going to be right there. So everything should be kind of, should be able to drive and kind of see everything. That's my goal. So one barn down, chick coop down. Let's go get the other animals. You stay tuned. Shoo! Time to move them animals, folks. That's right. We got the big uh, livestock trailer. We got the hay guy. It was not Do you look at, do you see how good we did on the hay? That's their last bale over there. I was really regretting. I was like, hopefully I don't have to call them for another load just for like one bale. So we timed it up right. I could have brought one bale in the trailer. That was, it's, we timed it up right. I, I'm priding ourselves in timing it up right. So we made it perfect so there's no extra hay here that we have to actually move. And they've got like uh, about a half a bale left over there. So we got Ralph and Carol by themselves. And why do we have that goose? Yeah, that we'll thing might be what, Should we leave here. the goose? We'll leave He's, a lawn, put him on the He's the lawn ornament. And then we got these guys already kind of penned up and ready. These guys, are, you guys are ready to go? We're going to move. All right, so we've got these guys wrangled up. And then they Dale and Rick. They just follow us around. Honestly, you can just they'll just follow the car all the way there. Yeah, they don't they don't need to be wrangled. So the hard part's gonna be Carol and Ralph. That's gonna be interesting. These guys we should be able to load up pretty quick. So we got them up in this corral chute. And now the moment of truth of trying to get them inside the livestock trailer. And then we're gonna shut it, right? Keep them separate so they can't bomb out and then go get the big dogs. Yeah, five dividers. Five dividers? Yeah. She and these are your smallest trailer? Good lord. We All right, we got, I said our trailer, our trailer's Weenie Hut Jr. All right, Dale, go ahead, Dale. Come on, Rick, let's go. Come on, you, I, we were taking you to greener pastures. Literally. No, we're not taking you to catch and cook, all right? Actual green pastures, okay? I checked on the pasture this morning, and it was green. It rained a little bit last night. It should be absolutely perfect. Dale, come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. I like how this, he's got a handle. I know, he's got them nice horns. Yeah, come go, on, buddy. come on, Ricky. Rick's, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Rick just Did he get him? He's going. He's going. Come on, Dale. Look, look, look what Rick's up to. Get the flag. Flag him. Flag him. How do you how yeah. do you do it? Oh, you want me to do it? How do you do it? You just smack him? Yeah. 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 Don't work. Dale, move that thick. Middle, move move that say? thick ass, Definitely Dale. A He's a yeah. pet, you can tell. <laughs> move on. move the, move that rump. Flag don't hey, work. Hey, come on. Dale. He don't want to go in there. You might have to pick him up, Banjo. I don't know if I Let's can. Let's see that. No, he's he's gotten too big. I don't think I can pick him up. Power squat him. You definitely could. Yeah, this is nothing. You're you like, you're like I pick up these bulls. Come on, Dale. Get Dale. Dale. Come on, Banjo. Don't let Dale do this to you. Come on, Dale. There we go. Come on, Dale. Go, Dale. Oh, oh Dale. Oh, Dale. Dale. Move there your legs, is. Dale. Boy, Dale, he's move he's them dead. legs. He, why do you get so big? I mean, big? he's got to be 150 pounds. He's a big boy. I bet if you uh, tucked your pant legs in, he would have went in. Why is that? You got to shut the camera off for that part. Oh, really? <laughs> Dale, Dale, you. Dale, get your. Dale. No, Dale. Dale. He's pissed. Dale. Dale. Well, Dale's not happy. Dale's not so. having it. Should we, we go, just get the Here they come. Should we go lock Dale Here they come. Dale. Watch, 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 Just let Dale out. Just let Dale out. Oh, just, should I grab that guy? Okay. One's out. Just All let right. Dale out. He's Dale, easy. Dale, Dale. Oh, he's back. He's back. All right, got it. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, Banjo. You got it. You got him, man. What? I think that one had a wiener. Did it? Pretty they sure, don't man. faint and they got wieners? Here they come. We baby. gotta sell them. Hey, get in. Look at Look out. Hey, what are you doing? Does that have a wiener or no? No, that one's got tits. Man, just Carlos. walk walk down it. There you go. Carlos! Load up, Carlos. You're a horse, you get it. Hey, hey he gets, he it. gets it. it. Look at him. Dale! What? Dale! What? Not what? the time, Dale! <laughs> There it is. Get it, bitch boy. Don't make me do it. Tiffany, come on. You're all right. Look. You're all right. You're all right. 
It's okay, buddy. Come on. Look. See your friend up there? You holding hands this time? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what are we trying to do? Yeah, right now. There you go. She's best. <sighs> this is a workout. Man. We're not working. catching cooking. There you go. One, two, three. Look, Mama's back there. Rick's already taking a nap. Look at him. <laughs> oh, you can't see him. No. He's taking a nap. <laughs> Rick's sleeping. Yeah, he's out. We got one goat? Two goats. Two goats. One's loose. Oh, Rick. Coming your way. <laughs> All right. We have one loose goat. One loose goat. <sighs> I don't know. Went in the woods. Oh, there she is. Her mom's calling her. Steve, just push her in the chute towards us. Come on, let's go. Ralph's in. Come on, big boy. Let's go, Ralph. Going behind you? Close this gate. I don't think he's not going to double back on it. Okay. Kick that thing right over. He's hanging for a long ride. Okay, so he's getting a little weird now. Hey, come here, big boy. Yeah, we gotta get the panel closed right behind him right here. He's okay. We're the pets be are okay. helping. He's all gonna be okay, big boy. We got Scooby's right here, Bubba. It's okay. Hey, you want a treat? Here. Here. Come get a treat. Here. <laughs> That's, right, we'll do it. That's right, let him get one, and then he'll think he can do it again. I'll go a little further. Mm -hmm. It's all right, buddy. It's loud when he steps on it. Now what? <laughs> now the camel is almost in the corner. I think he, could, he can't. He can walk forward and just get his leg up. Huzzah! <laughs> can't just get out of the way. Get Carol, you. stay back. We don't need any oh, more. Oh God! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, Ralph! These are just love taps, Ralph. Come on, Ralph. Come on, Ralph, come on. God, this thing's so strong. Come on, Ralph. Ralphie? Why? It don't have to be like this, Ralph. We got everybody in. I, uh, Jake had to put the camera down to help. We needed all hands on deck. But we got Ralph in this little pen here. But he don't like the trailer. So we got everyone else loaded in here just fine. And dandy. They're back down in there. Actually, I can probably go say hi to him. Oh, can I get to it? I think I can get to the other side. Carol went in willingly. She didn't care. She was about that great in life. Carol, tell Ralph it's going to be okay, Carol. We got everybody else right there. Ralph wouldn't go in. We put a halter on him, and he just dug his little hooves in. So we're going to have to leave him now. You, you guys on babysitting duty then? I guess, I guess so. So. We got to go catch a goat. Oh, yeah. One of our... All right, we got to catch a goat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys to the vet so the vet can get started because we are supposed to be there 30 minutes ago. Well, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the vet. I'll film some of that, show you guys what they're doing. Then the other guys are going to get this trailer. Ralph has been in this trailer before. Does that mean anything? No. But maybe he's like, oh, welcome home. It's like deja vu. And he's seen this thing for how many years since he's been here? I mean, he, you know, it's not a foreign, that's a foreign object. So I'm thinking back that trailer up to there, leave the gate open, throw some water in it, throw some grain in it. You guys start scrolling TikTok, and I'm going to run to the vet, and I'm going to wait for the phone call going, hey, we're headed back to the vet. We're good. That's what from you guys. That's what I'm going to hope really? for. Yeah. That ain't happening. You don't think so? No. All right. Well, see you guys at the vet. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Why wasn't it that easy getting on? What the hell, Carol? All right. Well, they're going to get her hooves cleaned up, hopefully, and get all vaccinated and, and whatnot. We're gonna leave the rest of the animals for right now. Get Carol done first, and uh, hopefully the other guys can get Ralph somehow. Cause I don't know, he might just be a lawn ornament. Carol, it's gonna be all right, Carol. So they got, that goes down. 
locks her in there, pushes her forward, locks her in there, pushes her forward, and then there's a break. It hold, basically, it'll go around her neck. It won't hurt her. It'll hold her head because her head is bigger than her neck. And that'll hold her in place, and then it'll tilt her on her side. So here we go. Nice catch. There it is. All right. Well, that's the safest way to do it. So it, it'll hold her. I said it don't hurt her. Just It's like getting her big old bear hug, and then it'll flip her up, and he's going to grind her toesies off and make them look nice and shiny. It's all right, sweet girl. You're all right. It'll be better, I promise. This is for your own good. What do you think? Look at them toes. He's a pretty little toes now. Sheesh. All right, Carol is done. She's been vaccinated, taken care of, hoof trimmed. So we shouldn't have to worry about that for a while. And uh, well, one down and several to go. No freaking way. No way. Anybody order a camel? No he likes way. This trailer. No way. Yeah, the halter broke him. He's good to go. There's no way that camel's in here. There's. Oh my God. Rob. Hey, you calm down. You just like this trailer? Why are you doing that? You just like the trailer, huh? Is that it? This is the OG trailer. You don't. You refuse to go in the other one, huh? So he just. You just gave him a minute, let him relax, yeah. or what? Yeah, we scrolled on TikTok. I just told you, just TikTok would do it. Yeah. We watched some TikToks, drank a couple primes, and, and just he yeah. was let him right up. in. Yeah, we gave him a little grain, hooked the lead to him, and we just yeah. started out. We put grain like way up here. Yeah, yeah. we gave him some water dish. He yeah. just pulled him right no. on in. Yeah, dude, Probably. What's going on, buddy? What the hell? At least he has his own. He has his own rig yeah. now. Yeah. On the old, on the old V six. How's that looking? Yeah. Ralph. When he was standing up, he'd move in this whole truck and trailer. Is both moving. Yeah. It's like yeah. Well, he, he'll he's v laying down. He's good. He'll he's him in halfway. He'll so he V six is squatting. I'll tell you what. Carol has the prettiest fingertips he ever did. Really? Done, her her nails are done. Did, did up. Paint them? No, we did, we should have oh, painted them. Paint she, she's uh. She's out back here. Oh, did you see her? Dude, she has the prettiest toenails you ever done. Did see now. So how long did that take? Was pretty. Like forty minutes. Oh. Oh, oh angle, angle grinder. Oh, just really? shaved her down. Yeah, it did her all right. Put her in the brake, slipped her on her side. She's good. Yeah. Really? Carol. Oh, look at those toes. Come here, Carol. Look at these nice tootsies coming in here. Aren't they? Aren't they just like? They're just like perfectly yeah, trimmed. Yeah. Should have painted them. Pink. She, she's excited. So anyway, so she's done. They we're in the trailer now. I wasn't really filming a whole lot because it's not really all that. I mean, it's interesting, but all we do is basically give them a shot and uh, give them a little dewormer. I can't see because the wind's blowing. That's pretty much it. Just gotta rip through. Got three, four more animals. We're gonna head to the new house. Oh, yeah, I guess we gotta rip through Ralph, too. Gotta get him figured out. You gotta stay tuned. Carlos, not the time. It's not the time to try to be an actual horse, all right? This <laughs> is not the time. Come on, little ass. Don't get any, don't, don't get any ideas. We were done. <laughs> All right, you guys eat that nice hay. Everything's vaxxed, wormed, dewormed, not wormed, dewormed, push trimmed. These guys are ready to rock and roll. Now we got the camel, big boy Ralph. And they said, they, what do they gotta do? Shove something up his ass or no? <laughs> no, tuberculosis test. They're gonna jack something on him. And it's gonna leave a bump. And if that bump goes away, he's good. If that bump gets bigger or worse, he's got it. Rip! And they said they, they have to draw blood in his neck and then do something up by his tail. And I'm not sure how to do that because I don't want anybody getting the trailer because that would just be a bad deal. But what's he thinking? He He's still mad at the world? I mean, he's talking. <laughs> Why are you so mad? <laughs> I didn't realize Ralph was getting a fresh cut. He's getting a nice fade right now. <laughs> He ain't about that. Alright. Going back here. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ralph? Calm down, buddy. 
Three. One more shot. Tuberculosis and we're out of here. Just, you just gotta cooperate. Ralph, don't. He's pissed. Okay, left side. There it is. Left, left ass cheek. Left ass cheek. There it is. Now we gotta check it. Now we gotta, Van's gotta give her a look. He's not, he's not a doctor, he'll take a look. Come on, Carol, come on home. You can do it, buddy. Go, go. Come on, look at them new, no, new tootsies you got on there. Come on, get in that trailer. Come on. Oh, come on. What, what the heck? Why did it take us an hour? Son <laughs> of a god. All right, see you guys later. Hey, how's it going? I feel like this pen's bigger. It definitely it is. I feel like, like it's bulletproof. Th there's no, yeah, have you seen it? Yeah. I haven't seen it. You wow. can't, you, Ralph can't get it out, There's no way Kirk could have done this. There's, no, no, there's no way you could have done this in the old pen with the no. big gooseneck. No. no. This pen has, it looks smaller, but I feel like it's bigger. It's definitely bigger. It's it's not as, maybe as long, but it's definitely deeper. It's bigger. By the way, two chickens escaped when I gave them water last night. They didn't die overnight. They raccoon, they figured out. This is Raccoon Alley right here. We were telling them. We said that's Raccoon Alley, so we're gonna be trapping like crazy. So one modification we have to do is these gates right here are not little goat proof. So we grabbed a couple panels from the house that we already had laying around. Here's the problem. See these big holes, big holes, big holes, and big gap? That looks like goat sneaking through central. So we gotta shut this gate, and thank God I decided to put four gates in this pen. Yeah. So now we have to find four cattle panels. You gotta drop them down a little bit too. We gotta drop, they should fit. So we gotta put one, two, three, four, so the goats can't get out. Yep. Other than that, we should be we should be good to go. Yeah. Think it'll work? Yeah. I like this. What one. do you think of the fence? This we didn't build it, that's why it looks good. Oh, you know, it could have been better. Really? <laughs> I mean, I think it's this, Ralph proof. This is like this is bulletproof, buddy. I just like at any point, like I can jump over it and not feel like the T posts are gonna fall over. Yeah, they just me. all like, wood posts on this area. Yeah, so this will be our feeding area, nice. which is where they beat it up. The rest is yeah. stretch woven wire with T posts and a top and a bottom strand of barbed wire. I think it'll work. You think it'll, it'll hold Ralph in? I mean, the, the pen that we built four years ago held Ralph in technically. I'm gonna take credit for that. He, he never got out, <laughs> did he? T -post. He never got out. I did like he? what three twelve year olds? Oh, I did a higher bunch of miners for that one for some yeah. reason. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you had to pick them up. I'm all right, sure. let's go ahead and get this panel. Look at her in the Carol. goose. Carol! Why is she with the, is that your friend? Here she, she comes. comes. Yeah. Alright, come on Carol. Carol. Carol, walk him over. Oh, it's a nice grain in that truck. Hey. I have to grab that. Come on. Dog. Come on. She's the best looking cow. She, oh, just, she, she got her hooves trimmed. Oh, she got her hooves trimmed? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Wait, when can he fly? I didn't know he could fly. <laughs> you ever seen him fly? How, I didn't know he could fly. Why did he fly? I don't even know no, why. I he didn't know he could do that, yeah. What's the stripes on her? Was that from the gate or something? Yeah, it's probably the rust off the gate. I thought she got some nice stripes or something. They, <laughs> they, paint, they painted her up. I don't know. Oh, everything helps. Donkey's incoming. Here we go, here we go. New home, new home. Who's this guy? This is this Tiffany. Tiffany and Little Ass. Little Ass. <laughs> <laughs> right, Come on. Go. Look at that. Look at they just jump right out of there. All right, they'll all go now. Come on, Carlos, let's go. These uh, fainting goats ever faint? No, no they don't we got, faint. He got scammed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we got scammed. Come on, Good Carlos. Though. Come on, Look at buddy. that little Come on, Carlos. There's Rick. Rick. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, Rick. Yeah. Come on, buddy. He's like, I'm in. He goes, I'm in. All right, you got a little grain, oh, I'm in. I don't care where we're at. Come on. There you go. Come hey. on, guys. Hey. Felicia. Felicia. There it is. That's it. Minus the camel. Look at these guys. Oh, they love it. Look at the goats. <laughs> Carol, don't you can't be mad. They're probably thirsty, to be honest. So, yeah. Brad the Builder saved the day. He actually brought us a water tank over there, you can see. Yeah. Because we don't have utilities yet, so he brought the water tank, so we should be able to fill up their tanks, because I bet everybody is parched. We've chased them around all day, and then they got vaccines, and yeah, these, two. these they're guys. Just <laughs> they're, they're just hungry. They're just, they love their brain. All right, well, let's get this out, get Ralph down, get the water, and we should be set, stay tuned. All right, Ralph. Ralphie, this is your big moment, buddy. We, we got some of the Grain bins, Ralph's favorite grain bins. So it looks like home now. He'll, he'll start putting it all together, hopefully. We got some food, feed bank bunks. Yeah, you want to, should we go put those on? Yeah, where do you want them? Uh, let's put it along that fence. Okay. So the design in here was no barbed wire, straight cattle panels, and this is their feeding area, which should hopefully be stronger. 
Oh, hang on now. Go. They shouldn't be able to. Mess Ralph that. breaks out. I'll tell you. Yeah. Look at look at him. Look at him. He sees the feet. He's already. the only one that gets it. Like yeah. He, that's what I'm saying. We he's the only one. Him. He's only the, the only one that's with it here. Oh yeah. Let's go. Hey hey hey. No 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 no. 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 All right. Here you go. This is perfect. I like this. There you go. There you go. This pen's definitely bigger. Oh, yeah. For some reason, it just doesn't look like it, but as I'm like, feeding them. Look how them, far those goats are away from us. They're pretty far. That's pretty far. Oh, Carol, Carol heard the grain. She's about it. All right. Perfect. All right. Same water troughs and everything, boys. You like it like that? Sure. Try whatever you're choosing. What's going on? You say you're choking Banjo's chicken? Wow. Oh, no. What do you mean? You said I tried grabbing your chicken. Did you not say that? <laughs> Those words came out of your mouth. <laughs> Don't deny it. Should I just undo him? You see if we can pull him and get him I think he's just, he'll just get pissed. You don't, you don't think go. he's going to just let him There's go? There's nowhere for him to go, go in here except out, so. Don't bite me, a little. Hey. I'd say this is about the only time you're gonna be able to get this off of him. So if you want to take it off of him, yeah, we need one of those. There we go. Hey, don't bite. There it is. You can keep it. I can keep it. Yeah. This guy. What a nice, what a nice, what a nice guy. guy. Well, I know how to get him up. Just go through that side door and hey, needle. T just tickle his little. <laughs> tickle his. <laughs> wow, you do that a lot. Watch. <laughs> No, d you stop being angry. He's still growling. <laughs> pissed off. Come on. Bastard. Hey, get up. We're done. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it. <laughs> no. Got that breath. That's <laughs> singeing my nostrils, bro. <laughs> well, then come out. Is he going to go out that way? Sorry, Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> stop. Stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Just get out. He's such a little baby, dude. He is. He's <laughs> Just whiny little thing. Come on. They are stubborn, I'll tell you what. Yeah, they are stubborn creatures. You're stubborn. You know that? Anyone yeah, ever tell you that? You need a tilt trailer. Just tilt just yeah, dump just dump him. him. <laughs> Should put him in the dump trailer. Guess we'll just let him be for now. Ralph, I promise this place is better than where you were before. He just doesn't, he just don't believe it. Uh -uh. He, he's getting, his teeth are getting a little close, you know what I mean? He's getting squirrely. I mean, we made it. Look at him, look at him. Tell me he ain't gonna bite your ass. Tell me he, he's gonna too. <laughs> If you bite your arm, it's not on me, all right? He's just a little old worked up. Don't roll up. Don't want to He's walk. a drama queen. Hey, oh, oh. just get out of the train. Sounds like a dinosaur. Come on. He does. He oh, like oh cool. he's, he's mad. Come he on. didn't like that. Stop. <laughs> just get out. Hey. Oh, oh banjo. Now we're talking. There, banjo. I told you. He's that little whisper. There it is. There he goes. There he goes. Keep doing that. Yeah, he's coming. Hey! Hey! Look at Ralph, Ralph, what's up, buddy? I'll give you all the grain. It didn't need to be that difficult. It really didn't. He's happy now. He's gonna be in paradise here. He's got six acres of nice grass for him. All right, well, Ralph dropped off. I'm gonna come back down in the morning and check it out. Oh, we gotta give him water. I wanna see how that thing works. All right, this is Brad the Builder's water tank. He saved the day. Look at him come around the corner. What, someone said water? Oh, there you go. Perfect. It's almost like we're professionals or yeah, something. Yeah, look at that. Water line, smarter line, all right? You got one of these, it's all you need. I think you could back up right there and do the same That's thing. What I, I think the goal would be, yeah, get a little PVC pipe that's like a little sleeve. You just back it up, yeah. drop it in once a day, done. And it's only a half full tank because we didn't know what the mule was capable of, so. Ralph's already destroying the trees. He's going to kill everyone. All right, while this is filling, Let's set up this perma fence and let these chickens out. It's been two days now. Well, day and a half. Shoo! Look at this fence. Come in here. I'll show you how big this sucker is. So we took the fence, the exact same fence we had at the last property. Look at their new run. It's like three times the size. Goes all the way up. And again, they should have access. We'll have to cut a little panel, but they should have access. They come out here to go around and get through because we didn't actually run the fence over here. I'll show you. What we're going to do is we're just going to run a hot wire to connect for electricity. But you can see there's no fence over here because you have this. Although I will cry a little bit when we cut into this because it is a brand new fence, yeah. but hear me out. What if we just dig them a little hole? Give them a little burrow? Where they go in and under. They might burrow. They, they do that already yeah. on the perma fence. I mean, he's hanging out. Literally just cut out, ting, 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 ting. 
eight inch eight inch hole basically cut them a little doggy door just so the chickens can get in and out and then that way they can scratch this if they want which is cool more importantly when all these guys start pooping then fly larvae start getting wild and that's when we need them to eat them. look at they're right at home. Why did Ralph throw fit? He was such a All day long, baby. he cried and cried. Oh, don't take me. And look at him now. He's stoked. All right, so we got two turkeys and a bunch of chickens in here. And uh, we're going to let them out for the first time. Well, I took, I, I threw, I don't know if I threw it away, but their ramp's gone. But oh. the turkeys aren't going to be able to fit, though. No, they're stuck. They might be sleeping. Really? Or they're, they're dead. Wake up, lady. They're all roosted, son of a gun. Really? <laughs> they know it's nighttime. Come on, get up. <laughs> hey, guys. Come on, get up. Are they all over there sleeping? Yeah, look, come look at I've never seen them in here like this. Look at this. Holy smokes. Look at them all up there. <laughs> <laughs> they're all going to bed. You come back to bed. You'll come back to bed. You'll come back to bed. Oh, look at him. Is he perched on your hand? He's roosted on the fingers right now. <laughs> Get off of there. Come on, come on, come on. Not time to go to bed yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on turkeys. Come on, turkeys. Come on, turkeys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ladies, it's still day. Was there two tur turkeys in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no one. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, did I miss one? Gimpy's here. I yeah, saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Where's Gimpy? Hey, all you haters. This is Gimpy. Gimpy right there. Where, where? Him, right this. Here. Yeah. Gimpy. Oh, Gimpy, leg. come here. Come, chicken. come here, Gimpy. <laughs> How is Gimpy faster than me? Gimpy. He's got one leg. So this is Gimpy. He has one leg. He has a nub. He got caught in our trap. Got caught in the coyote trap. So I took him trapping that day. He's my, he's my trapping chicken. We severed his limb. Bandaged it up with the first aid kit, and it's been like three, four months, and he's fine. He survived yeah. the whole winter, and he gets around just fine. That's yeah. that's Gimpy. He gets in and out of the coop. Eats he's fine. Eggs, lays lives a good life. He lives. Now you're over here. So, all right, chickens are out scratching. Big animals are doing big animal things. The water, by the way, completely filled with that tank, so you can see over there. That's their new water station for now until we get plumbing ran, which will be soon. We'll see if we have any dead chickens in the morning, but I I'm highly doubting it. I think. This thing's bulletproof, electric fence. This fence is solid. Donkeys are here to protect. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Animals are officially moved. That was the last of it, ladies and gentlemen. We are now fully moved in. The shop is almost done. We're getting there, a few more things. My main house, a few more things. We're still in the haunted house. This is now the new home for the animals. Every day we'll be coming down here taking care of them. But I think we did it up right. I think the pen is way better than the old one. And I think the past year, they're going to like it a lot more. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on. Peace.